Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to give you a little walkthrough of my Minecraft world so far. I started at the top of this tower because it's a very long way up, so you'll get to see what's down there after this. Uh, this is our mob spawner room where you can farm XP and stuff. They all travel down a little pipe. Uh, I don't know, my, my buddy made it, so I'm not exactly sure how it works, but they end up there so you can get lots of experience there. Also a really good way to farm arrows and stuff like that. I got a bunch of swords sitting around and other loot. It's really helpful for enchants because you don't have to actually go out in the world and level up every time you want to enchant new tools. And that's some of the stuff that we get when we kill the monsters. That's a little uh, quick drop for all the stupid stuff that we don't need. We can just throw it in the water and it disappears. This is the trapdoor for skydiving and this is where I spend most of my time down here in the world. It's a nice little waterfall island over there, too. I really like how that came out. I wasn't planning on it being so complex, but it just kind of happened that way, and I really enjoy it. It was just going to be like a flat thing down, but this is pretty nice. Um, I'm going to try out this potion of speed because I got one earlier. It seems like it would be good for showing you guys a walkthrough. Uh, that's Goldfish Island on the left. I haven't really done anything with that yet, so we're not going to get to see it. Uh, this is my buddy Schizo's house. This is all his stuff, his little home that he hangs out in. Here's a little tower that he's going to do stuff on soon, which you guys will see in the next video I make at some point. Probably later in the week. Um, and this is the path back to our main area. Still not sure what I want to do with this back area with all this stupid sand. Oh, yeah, that's Goldfish Island again. Um... Yeah, I'm still figuring out what I want to do with that, but for now I'll show you guys the top of the wall. It's a shame there's no way to just, like, jet up to the top really fast. There might be, but I don't know about it if there is. Uh, this is our little area. The area on the left is, like, a wood generating thing. Uh, you can put in a bunch of trees and it'll pop them out. And then that's the sheep over there on the right, obviously. I'll show you guys that. We're definitely planning on a big expansion sometime soon, so next video we'll cover that. This is a little wood area. Um, yep, yeah, stuff goes in the chest and the little generator pops out trees. Again, I don't really know how this works. I don't do most of the machines, but I want to show you guys anyways. It basically just pops out trees over and over again, so if you need a lot of wood, it'll keep on generating it. And here's our colorful sheep pen. We only have a couple colors so far. And then those are my towers, which I'm still not really sure what to do with yet. And the wall, of course. A couple cows in there. I think there's one chicken around. Uh, the, the plan is to add layers of sheep pen above and below, perhaps. We're going to start working on that. And then back here, there's the main bunker. Banana Fort. That's the name. I just... Uh, four of us who work on this off and on, but uh, recently it's been mostly just me and Skitsy. We have Farmer Eric and uh, Houston is the one who invited me to the server. Uh, so this is Pog. It's our little glass sheep. Treads water all day. This is uh, Duck or Chicken. Not really sure what he is. He flaps around a lot. That's our stupid ride. Doesn't doesn't go very far. <laughs> this was kind of like a tech demo. I think we made it when I was asking like what roller coasters are or how you do them or something. And someone just made that. And these are our chests with lots of stuff. Mostly bad stuff. We haven't really stocked up on anything cool yet. A couple diamonds around. This is something from the nether. I don't really know how it works, but I guess it's for potions. I let Skitsy handle that. Here's Dog. <laughs> he just sits there. And then down here is the rec room. We were going to do more with this at some point, but we didn't uh, didn't really end up doing too much. There's a secret space under that couch. Maybe I'll show you guys next video. It's not too exciting right now because I haven't done anything at the bottom. It's just basically a big tunnel. And this is the farm. Lots of wheat. A couple pumpkins. A couple melons. Here's our enchanting table. And then the coolest part of our farm is actually around the back. And also our sugar canes are kind of cool too. Don't really need them for much though. 
there used to be a chicken inside there and then he died. It's uh, not really sure how, but he just wasn't there one day. Maybe someone rescued him secretly and they didn't want to tell me. But as far as I know, he's just gone now. Here's our potatoes. It uh, pops them down through a little waterfall and then it dunks them uh, down the stairs. I always get a little bit of weird lag when I go downstairs. Um, the dumps the potatoes in here and then it cooks them and you kind of have to take them out and go replant them. It's a shame there's no way to like automatically get the potatoes to f go around some kind of machine and fall back down and replant themselves, but this is already pretty crazy enough. Uh, so yeah, those are that's the main part of our farm and the main part of our base. And so I'll close with showing you guys a little hot tub, which doesn't do anything. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. More videos soon, for sure.